Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a new video. This one's going to be a little different. So, this is Need for Speed Most Wanted 2012. Pretty much my favorite Need for Speed game out of all of them. Which usually, you play on a controller. But, today... Oh boy. We're on the wheel. So... This is not how this game was supposed to be played. At all. But... We're gonna try and do decently. So... I've mapped ever everything out. Oh, I wrecked myself already. Oh, that's impressive. So it's sort of weird because there's force feedback where you wouldn't think there'd be force feedback. So there's only force feedback when you're crashing or drifting. So it's a little weird. But I want to see what we can do. Oh, what was the drive two hundred miles? Okay. That was a cop. It's really weird not having force feedback and then getting it just sort of mid. Come on, got the way. There we go. <laughs> Or just randomly getting it. Oh. Like it is a little weird, but. <laughs> Could be worse. So, let's try and go do a race. Ooh, there's a most wanted car to take on. First, let's fix the car. Okay. Alrighty. Let's see what we can do. We're on different tires now. Not going the right direction. This car is in the way. Oops. So, this car and the uh, Veyron are my two favorites out of the uh, out of all of them. It's been ages since I've played this game. 
And this is not how this game is meant to be played. But, it's not bad. Feels pretty decent on the wheel, I'd say. Pretty big dead zone, though. Or maybe not. Maybe I'm just bad. And it just understeers like crazy because it's a boat. It might be that. Oh boy. I knew that was coming. Oh. Okay. Let's see. 918 Spider. Oh boy. Oh, I, I loved these. Oh, come on. I thought that was the absolute coolest thing the first time I saw that. That was a tree. Oh, he died too. Okay. Oh. Whoa. Like I said, the steering's a little dead. A little. I still got it. Oh, I love this game. Wait a minute. Oh. oh yeah, there were Corvettes or something for cop cars. Oh. Because it seems like it's treating. Oh, thank God for the reinflay. Whoops. It's treating the motor as like a as a rumble, which is a little weird. Oh. plan since this week's a little boring on iRacing content and by a little I mean quite a bit Good, then there are other times where the steering's just gone. Back up, 
this is weird. Oh no! Oh, I'm still technically first. <laughs> that was the most haphazard finish I think I've ever had. But, it has been beaten. Now, time to bash the shit out of that thing. I mean, that was about as convincing of a slam as... There we go. Oh, oh god, I'm gonna drive off the edge, aren't I? Nice. Ooh, I'm over the Aventador now. Alrighty. So if you guys have never played this, the whole basis was to try and do races, get good cars, and uh, ooh, I'm almost at 100 or 200 miles. You're supposed to get really good, get better cars, and then uh, become the top dog of the city or whatever. Most of the time I was just going really fast, drifting, or crashing into things. Alrighty, so let's see. What is another good car that we can go for? Uh, there's Veyron. Ooh, the have Venom's fun. There are so many good cars in this game. The Zonda R. Ooh, that's right. We'll, we'll go and get this one. I just sort of wanted to do a little show and tell of one of my favorite games. And see how it worked on the wheel. It was one of those that technically shouldn't, but it does. just picked up a game yesterday or the day before that I'm going to be doing a bit of a series on. Oops. In between iRacing races to sort of sparse things in. Because I haven't played that game in ages either, and that brought me so much fun it's not even funny. So we will go and grab a, a quite an iconic car, do a race or two, and then I will leave you guys. With, leave you guys with that. <laughs> nope, seems like it's just steering. No force feedback because I don't think this game is ever meant to be on the wheel. There was a horn. Let's look back. Oh. That's right. There was a nose cam. Probably one of the most terrifying things ever. Oh yeah. So. This car exists. 
Oh yeah. Oh wow, I don't have anything for this car. feedback bit but could be worse
one thing I remember, if you don't have the main chassis or the impact protection uh, body, you don't hit things. Things hit you. Sometimes not an option. Oh, that was an LFA, if I think. If I remember. I don't even remember what setting I have. were nice, simple, short, and a lot of fun. Oh yeah, the Huayra. There's no... Alright, gonna have to do this on the fly. Maintaining contact. Continue code three. And you had to be on night for like five minutes. Oh. Whoops. Suspect is smashed. Oh. No, no. series. And it's just it's one of the best. Like this game is just 
in my opinion, uh, as close to perfect as possible. So, we're gonna evade the cops. That whole not having force feedback's really weird. Just go three pursuit is going southbound. Uh suspect evaded. I advise continuing on current path. All pursuing units, commence suicide grid. Advise on progress, over. Back up now and changing suspect. I'm just giving them a chance. I'm a need of assistance. Just lost a fugitive. Coordinating response. Copy that, suspect. That's right. Oh, I think this is technically all the time. I don't think they have this as all the time. Contact suspect. It's sort of sucks, but... Any units in the vicinity have eyes on the pursuit suspect. Uh, I've lost him. Dispatch suspect vehicle gone. I need a perimeter and search pattern to find them. 10-4. Green light grid search has been authorized to locate code 3 suspect. All code 3 the best part is, there are cars everywhere. Suspect, no contact. Be advised, like, I mean, everywhere. Recommending units go code 2 for search. Over. Like, for example, you could just swap and say, okay, I'm now driving a Corvette. Like, it was, in my opinion, there was a Tesla in this game? When did they add this? I do not remember this. There's a roadster that can get up to almost 120 mile an hour. Not bad. What color did it come in? Blue, orange. Oh, just like you don't even hear it. It's just so quiet. Ooh, I like the green. It's just weird trying to correct with the lack of stick uh, lack of White, yellow, and I think that should be the last one back to blue. Oh, there's another one. And back to blue. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this one. It was interesting. Found out there was a Tesla in this game, and I had no idea. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. This was a little revisit to my younger years, but bringing out the new tech. So, you can, you can be quiet. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. I sure did. I love coming back to this game. It's such a good game. But, look forward to new content of the Need for Speed genre, because, ooh, ooh, is it going to be good. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, why don't you leave a like rating? It helps. Uh, consider subscribing if you'd like to see more content just like this. And don't forget to smack the little bell. And I will talk to you guys in the next one. See ya.